Ladies and gentlemen, we've had the appetizer, and now it's time for the main course. The last time we saw these two men, they won their respective matches in the EBCW Hardcore Championship number one contendership tournament. And they were two great matches. And now, in an Extreme Rules match, just a few days away in Universe Mode time, short of their next possible Extreme Rules match against One No Way Jose, they will do battle to determine who will be the man to face them. So basically, if you guys have been paying attention to some of the, the seed numbers, Eric Rowan was number one seed. He faced off against um, Grand Metalik, who was the second seed. Jackson Riker was number three, and he lost to the number four seed, which is Heath Slater. Now, th technically, if you think about it, I kind of, I should have done this a little bit more as to how, like, March Madness does it. But I think this is a fair, I think it's fair. It's only fair that the top two guys face off against the top, uh, face off against each other. And then the top of uh, the bottom two guys face off. And who knows, maybe we'll see an upset with Heath Slater. Or Eric Rowan gets another shot. Because if you remember, he took place, uh, he took part in the first ever hardcore championship match against uh, both the then man, uh, hardcore champion Mankind and uh, who else was there? X-Pac. Which was a great match, but he came up, he just came up short. And Heath Slater's getting his first opportunity at the Hardcore Champ, or could be getting his first opportunity at the Hardcore Championship. Hashtag Heath for Impact, by the way. Even though he's pretty much already signed, I think. I haven't been paying attention to Impact the last couple of weeks just because I've just been so busy. I don't have any time in the day to do anything anymore. It's tough out here. It really is. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Now everything goes. Extreme rules. It's time for these two big, big, big men to fucking get it on. And to start off, we got a big slam by Eric Rowan. Now going for a military press, and there goes here he Slayer. And he Slayer has not had a single move on in this match thus far. And now we got a possible choke slam attempt. And goodbye, he Slater. Down he goes. He Slater has not had a single fucking move. So I'm starting to think maybe I was right with having the the one four seeds go up against each other and the two three seeds go up against each other. But who knows? Who knows? Right now it seems Eric Rowan is in fact being the the more dominant of the two, going for a choke. Which is completely legal. Referee can't do anything about it. And I am just in shock as to what's going on here. We got a, it seems we got a submission going. We got a submission. And he Slater finally gets a move in. Finally gets some hits in. And he breaks the fucking hold. Eric Rowan has finally taken some damage in this match. And now Eric Rowan taking control again. Sending Heath to the ropes. Irish whip off. Reversal there by Heath Slater with an elbow between the eyes. And down goes Rowan out to the outside of the ring. And everything in this match is a weapon. The stairs are a weapon. The barricades are a weapon. That ladder is a weapon. No one is safe. And I'm not sure why Heath Slater would not use that ladder to get an advantage on Eric Rowan. If Eric, and if Eric, Eric Rowan was smart, he could just pull... Oh, he's getting the chairs. He's going to say, fuck it. I'm going to get the chairs. And now both men are entering back in the ring. One with a weapon and one without. I'm not sure if that's a smart idea. And then it does, apparently it doesn't matter. He Slater gets the chair out of the hands of Eric Rowan. Big punch to the head there. And a pin attempt, which doesn't even get a one count. Big kick to the back. He Slater finally getting a roll in this match. He's finally getting some footing. 
one percenter slash I'm not sure what the fuck that to even call that move but it's effective and that's all that matters Irish uh, Russian leg sweep I apologize now he Slater is gonna get another weapon which he may not even fucking bring in with him and there's a kendo stick a kendo stick an equalizer to get the big man down and that doesn't matter that does not matter at all. Oof. These men are absolutely going to war right now. The weapons are taking it, are starting to take shape, or they're starting to take effect. The welts are going to start to form. Big neck breaker on the floor by Heath Slater. Big kick, or a big uh, boot to the gut. Big kick to the leg. It's going to chop the big man down. And that, that, uh, I'm not sure if you guys m noticed, that forearm... Eric Rowan just ate that and looks and just looks straight at Heath Slater. I am fearing for Heath Slater's life in this very moment of this match. And now Heath Slater's got the chair. He's gonna see if he can get a couple good hits in on the big red beard, Eric Rowan. If Heath was smart, oh boy, that's not good. And that's not good at all. Big hit with the ladder there. This is not looking good for Heath Slater right now, ladies and gentlemen. Not at all, not in the slightest. This is Eric, as far as I'm concerned, this is Eric Rowan's match to win. This truly is Eric Rowan's match to win, and finally someone gets busted open in this match. Eric Rowan is busted open off that bulldog attempt there by Heath Slater. And if blood actually worked in this fucking match, we'd actually see a little bit coming down the stream of the face. But no. Because 2K doesn't want us to have nice things. This might be big. Oh Another big headshot there. Only going to further the cut that none of us can see. And a big power slam there by Eric Rowan. I got to say, for as much as Eric Rowan is beating the shit out of Heath Slater, Heath Slater is, in fact, doing a hell of a job coming back from it. That, ladies and gentlemen, is hard. That's hard. He's got kids. And he wants to do a good job, and he's going to do... Oh, my God, a reversal of the choke slam there by Heath Slater. One. Kick out at one. At least he actually got a, little, a one count that time. And now Heath Slater... He's going to try and get a roll going. Oh, no. That's not good. Reversed. And now Eric Rowan is looking to get a big move in on Heath Slater. This is not good. This is not good. Big slam. Onto Heath. I don't know why he's not going for the pin. Why is he not going for the pinfall? I don't agree with that move at all by Eric Rowan. That was his match to win. Sleeper slam, zigzag, whatever you want to call it. One, two, kick out by Rowan. God damn it, these two are absolutely killing each other. I am in shock that this match is not over yet. Eric Rowan may have just cost himself a chance at the Hardcore Championship. And oh my god, <laughs> Heath Slater hits the finisher. One, two, holy shit. Oh my god almighty. Oh, for the love of Christ, I cannot believe what I am looking at. Both men are... Oh, Heath Slater going to the outside. That might not be a good idea, but he's got a sledgehammer, an equalizer. It's working for him now. It's really working for him. Oh boy, what a match this is. These two men really want it, and I appreciate the gall, the balls of these men, and it's over. No, this can't be over. No! Heath Slater reversed the choke slam again, and now going into the sleeper hold. Can Eric Rowan get out of the sleeper hold, or is it too late? Is it too late? Has he sustained enough damage? And no! Sleeper hold is broken up by Eric Rowan. Big miss of the, of the palm strike there. That's going to cost him, maybe. That was a big hit that he just missed. A uh, snap nair. Missed the knee. Eric Rowan got out of that situation. And a big boot. Busts open Heath Slater. And now both men are bleeding in this match. 
And a sledgehammer to the back of Heath Slater. This is not good. Heath had a hell of a comeback going. And now, Eric Rowan's just biding his time. Eric Rowan is ready. It's over. Full Nelson slam onto the stick of the sledgehammer. And he still does not go for the pin. What is wrong with Eric Rowan? This man does not want to win this match. I don't know why, but he's already had this match won, and yet he chooses to inflict more damage. This man is demented. Absolutely demented. And a power of a fall away power slam there. And he Slater escapes onto the outside. Neither of these men are going to be 100% by the time. By the time the Extreme Rules comes around. I can tell you that right now. Both men are going to be absolutely hurt. And a big reversal kick there. And a big pomp strike missed again. Eric Rowan should probably think twice again. Or think a third time before going for that pomp strike. And he eats the stairs. Courtesy of Heath Slater. What a match this is, ladies and gentlemen. I am so proud to bring this to you, and now Heath Slater gets my favorite weapon, and that's the bat. And now he's just going to beat the ever-living shit out of Eric Rowan with it. I love it. I love to see it. Throws him to the other side of the arena, which I don't know why he's doing that for, but it is what it is. Oof. Onto the floor. Close to the... He might have actually even hit the uh, the stairs a little bit, which probably caused even more damage and pain. Big punch to the face there. And now Eric Rowan. Eric Rowan had this match won five, ten minutes ago. And now Kendo stick to the gut. I question R Rowan's motives in this. I really do. He should have won this match. This match is his to win, and yet he's... Every minute he's do, spending inflicting more damage on the Heath Slater, it's only fueling Heath Slater to win this match more. I don't understand the thought process behind Eric Rowan's reasoning here. I don't think we'll ever understand. And now, back again with the sledgehammer in Heath Slater's hands. Heath could win this match right now if he wanted to, and he missed with the sledgehammer shot. And now he, that one didn't miss. Right in the gut. The midsection of these men have to be riddled in pain. The ribs, the, the lung, the back area, the spleen, the stomach. It's all going to hurt in the morning. This has to be it. The, both men are back in the mat, are back in the uh, the legal zone to make a pin. This was not a false count anywhere match, so they couldn't even make pinfalls outside. Reversal there by Eric Rowan, and the palm strike finally, fourth times the charm, lands, and Heath Slater goes right outside again. This match is going to go on forever, I assume. This match is going to go on forever. Back into the ring that goes Eric Rowan. Russian leg sweep there by Heath. Pin, pin attempt. One. Two. Kick out by Eric Rowan again. I can't believe it. I'm not sure how Eric Rowan is kicking out of these moves. As, as minuscule as they may be, the amount of damage he's had, it's insane. Big high knee strike by Heath. I don't know what Heath's reasoning is behind this either. As you can see on the screen, we he, we both know he has a he has a finisher. We all know he has a finisher. And yet for some reason he's not going for it. And that I spoke too soon and he just absolutely fucked himself. And for some reason Eric Rowan goes out to the outside to get another weapon, and this time it's another steel chair. And now Heath Slater goes to the outside to get another weapon possibly another chair or those ladder or that ladder punch knocked the chair out of the hand of of a uh, Rowan and now Heath with the with the chair oh 
right in the f abdomen area, man. These men are gonna, these men are gonna need medical attention, probably hospital care. They're gonna need some. We're gonna need some uh, specialists to take care of these guys. So that we know that they're ready for the match. For some reason, this match doesn't want to end. They had every opportunity to win this match ten minutes ago now, probably. And yet, for some reason, they want to inflict more damage. I don't understand the thought process of this at all. I guess that's what this means to them. This is what the hardcore championship means to both men. And they're not even the champions. Sleeper slam, pin attempt, one, two, and another kick out by Eric Rowan. God damn it, I don't know what the hell is gonna keep this man down. And now he's Slater gearing up for the Impaler style DDT. He's going again. Come on, Heath. Do it. One, two, and it's over. I am in shock. I am in shock at the brutality, the fortitude. The blood, the sweat, the tears, the passion that these two men have gone through. The amount of effort it took to just be able to pin either man was astronomical. And he Slater, despite having a very, very slow start, somehow, some way, one and now he faces no way jose at summerslam for the hardcore championship what a match will and that will go down as one of the best extreme rules matches in the history of ebcw see you all on raw i got a big show planned for you there as well take care everybody